Awesome. Hey guys, it is absolutely fantastic to see you. I'm so glad that you decided to just take a few minutes out of your day to come watch this video. And um, we've actually got a little bit of big news right now. You can, as you can see, I've recently bought my, my first mic. So the audio I'm hoping will sound a lot better. Um, this is, I haven't even done a test. Literally, I, I got home, I was like, let's make this video. I'm pumped, let's do it. And so we're kind of going to do the audio on the fly. So I'm really hoping it works out, um, but I haven't tested it yet. So I might have to play around with it a little bit first, but I do have, um, I'm recording through my camera camera as well so you will get the average audio either way <laughs> but yeah guys for those of you that didn't know I just spent the last year as an intern and um, the company I was interning for they actually gave me a full-time job and it has just been such a blessing working for them I've learned so so much I decided hey I'm actually going to dedicate a video to what I've learned working for this media company so I've had such an incredible blast working for this company. The guys there are absolutely just fantastic. I'm pretty sure that I've made friendships that are going to last a lifetime. And so I've learned one hell of a lot too. I mean, that's why I'm making this video because I really have just learned so, 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 so much. And um, they're not the lessons that you guys would think I'm gonna be talking about from a media company because I'm not gonna be talking about what I've learned through Premiere Pro or Illustrator or how to build websites, which are things I've all learned, but I'm not gonna be lying in my deathbed one day going, okay, taught me how to duplicate a website. <sighs> no, I'm gonna be talking about like the things Oki has you know, taught me and the things that Lawrence has inspired me to do, the things that Daniel has done and the way Ali has shaped my life and stuff like that. So those are the sort of um, things I've learned that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So the first lesson that I've learned is that iron really does sharpen iron. And everybody knows that saying, but like, I really felt it coming to practice last year. Um, both Ali and Dan, they're, they're guys that are really good in their particular fields. And they're both really, really, really creative. They're incredibly creative. And I've always thought of myself as a creative person, but they really almost, I wouldn't say forced me because they didn't do it deliberately. But through my association with them and the way I hung out with them and the way I saw their Instagram pages and Dan's YouTube channel, it really inspired me. So through my interactions with them, I was inspired to push harder and work further and all of that sort of stuff myself. I realized I swapped those words around. I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know, ultimately, who you interact with kind of shapes who you are. And I've been spending a lot of time with these two guys. And so their values started to rubble for me. My values started to rubble for them. And I really realized that when I started taking my own social media a lot more seriously. It's going to sound so stupid. But now it's become something I'm really interested in. And I spend a lot of time in it. I can tell you I got that a lot from Ali and Dan. When I mean, if you look at my Instagram now, compared to what it used to be, you can definitely see that Ali had a massive influence on me. Um, and so it really, only while I started thinking about this video did that even become apparent to me. And so I think everybody should be really careful with who they choose to hang out with because you start to pick up little bits and traits from your friends. And if you've got a bad group of friends, you're gonna pick up on those bad traits. And if you're hanging out with a good group of friends, you're gonna be picking up those good traits. So I think it's incredibly, incredibly important who you hang out with as iron does sharpen iron. So please, your relationships are so incredibly, incredibly important. Make sure you choose your relationships correctly. This one's a little bit weird. I don't quite know how to explain it. This one is probably one of the most emotional lessons I've learned, but it's just the importance of a, a bigger brother figure or, or someone that you can learn from. And I got that a lot from Lawrence. And Lawrence and I, we will just go out on random days and we'll toss a rugby ball and stuff like that. Um, and it's quite a bonding moment and I've learned a lot from Lawrence. I won't get into the personal things now, but I've always been the oldest brother. You know, I've got Gabriel and Kimberly, they're my younger siblings. And one of the hardest things for me has always been, how do I be a good role model for them? Um, and I've always been like, Caleb, you have to do this. You can't screw up because then your brother and sister will look at you differently and you've got to be the good role model for them, etc., etc., etc. But um, so I've never really looked up to anyone in a big brother way. But when it came to Lawrence, I don't know, he's the, the very, I remember the very first week I was working there, um, I ended up having to sleep over at a friend's house because we didn't have a car or something like that. I don't remember the exact reason. And Lawrence offered to walk me. And Lawrence had only known me a few days and he walked with me all the way to my friend's house, which was just so flipping cool. This guy that I don't even know is willing to do this for me. And from there, our relationship kind of just grew. And um, whenever Lawrence offers me constructive criticism or anything like that, I take it, I really do take it to heart. So I think it's incredibly important that we all have a role model, not really a role model, but like a bigger brother figure that we can look up to and learn from. 
and, and seek advice from in, in situations that we ourselves might not be necessarily familiar with. I mean, generally these, these guys, you know, it's your older brother, so he will generally be older um, because he would have been through more stuff. So for example, Lawrence, you know, he's, he's been where I've been. He's been through the first shop. He's been through the girlfriends. He's been through the getting married and all of that. So he's got all this experience that he can pass down to me in a loving matter. So I think it's incredibly important that we all do have this older brother figure that we can turn to in times when we're uncertain of specific things ourselves. And we can turn to somebody that we do trust and that care about us. Because you can't have a big brother figure that doesn't care about you. You have to make sure that there's mutual feelings of this admiration goes both ways. So guys, I would really recommend that you find yourself a, a bigger brother role model type of figure that cares about you and is willing to invest time into your life because the sort of stuff you'll be learning from that person is absolutely incredible and invaluable. Another thing I've learned is just how incredibly important it is to just care for people. And that's gonna sound really, really just lame, I know, but it really is important. And I learned this a lot from Kirsty. I remember this Christmas, I was gonna be alone because my parents were down in Cape Town and Gabriel had his own plans and stuff like that. And I was house sitting. And I was honestly just fine to be by myself and edit YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, Cause that's what I wanted to do with my time. But Kirsty's like, Caleb, why don't you come spend your Christmas with us? We've already got people over. And just that feeling that somebody cared was absolutely incredible. Now Kirsty's always had a heart for people. We often call her the mom of the office because she honestly is just such a caring, loving person. And um, it takes an incredibly strong person to love and care for everybody. But she is just such a strong, loving individual. And I didn't realize how much it would actually meant to me just to have somebody go, hey Kate, just come spend Christmas with us. Um, it's, it's such a small act of kindness, but it really does go a long way. So guys, just remember, just love people, give them small acts of kindness because it really does add up. And um, it's just a great feeling when, you, when, when you're receiving that small act of kindness. So the final lesson that I learned that I want to talk about is the importance of a mentor role in your life um, or having a mentor figure in your life. And um, I understand how a mentor can sound very similar to a, a big brother figure. But, and they do have certain similarities, but they do still fulfill different purposes in your life. And my mentor figure has definitely been Oki. Um, Oki's my boss, and I remember one one particular situation where I, I screwed up so bad. It was honestly terrible. I don't understand how business and all of that worked at the time. I don't understand there was particular contracts in, in place protects me from something that would happen. But in my mind, I thought I was getting fired. Like I was 100% sure I was getting fired. So I went up to Oki and I was like, look, Oki, I did this. I made this mistake. I'm not going to get into details. That's not important. And um, I could see that Oki was, of course, he was annoyed. He tried to come up with a solution to the problem. It didn't work. He eventually found a different solution, but um, it wasn't the ideal solution or whatever. But he ended, we ended up having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and he spoke about how he's been in a similar situation. He also screwed up here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, he said like, look, Caleb, don't cry. He gave me a big hug. So he, when he gave me that big hug, like there was like, a serious roller coaster of emotions because I was like, oh, I'm gonna get fired, oh my word. Oh, now he's hugging me, what's happening? Oh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, it was just crazy because he understood where I had been. And so he understood how I could learn from it in a much better way that I never thought I would be able to. But like, again, he hasn't just taught me skills, he's taught me how, how to grow as a man and, as, and, and stuff like that. Um, and again, Lawrence did the same thing, but there's a difference. One's on a, on a mentor scale, one's on a big brother scale. Um, I understand how that can be confusing and how my words can get mixed up, but they are two different relationships. So yeah, guys, that's, that's it. In, in closing, I'd, I'd just like to round it up. Guys, iron sharpens iron. Make sure you find a group of friends that, that will grow you and not not cause you to, to backslide or do anything stupid. Get a group of friends that really cares about you and wants to see you succeed. That's the first one. The second one is find yourself a, a really good big brother role model. The third one is um, remember to do small acts of kindness. And then the last one, make sure you find yourself a good mentor figure that can grow you. But yeah guys, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, please leave a like if you did, that's incredibly important. So if you haven't yet, please also subscribe. We're on a race against Happy Chappy. We have to beat him. We cannot lose to him. We're currently winning, so let's just keep that going. But guys, awesome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I love you. You're awesome. See you in the next one.